Let me finish with uh, with the personal, because obviously, with uh, with the death of the uh, of the Queen, he not only became the king, a job for which he had been waiting a very long time, but he also became the head of the family. And at this time of year, we all know that for the royal family, it's as important, perhaps even more important, uh, than for ordinary families up and down uh, the land. How do you imagine it will be for them trying to host and enjoy and celebrate this first Christmas without the matriarch? Well, it is going to be a difficult uh, Christmas for them. They're going to gather at Sandringham, and most of them. I don't think Harry and Meghan will be there, but the rest of them are going to gather at Sandringham. Um, and obviously there will be that empty chair. Whether they'll actually leave it empty, I don't know. But uh, the, the absence of the Queen obviously will be keenly, keenly felt, not just by the family, but when we watch them go to church. We've been so used to the image of uh, the Queen arriving lately in, in a car um, and just being there at the head of the family. And now that, that's Charles. Um, it's a bit of a poison chalice, really, because it's always it's quite a troubled family in so many ways, as we've seen in recent weeks, months. But um, that is his job now, not only to be our head of state, but head of that family. Um, and uh, Christmas Hopefully it will be a time when they put any difficulties behind them, get round the table and uh, tuck into their turkey.